going on guys, it is Juicy Up Zombies here, and earlier this week, um, I had a, another YouTuber called Ducky, um, that's what people know him as, and um, he interviewed me on my thoughts of Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, um, quite an interesting video, um, so without further ado, let's jump into the video. What is going on everyone, I'm Ducky and today I'm joined by GCX Zombies. Hello. How you doing? And today we're going to be discussing his opinions on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So before we jump into all of Black Ops 3, you recently went on still the gaming kind of subject. You went to the gadget show, didn't you, this year? Yeah, I did. Uh, there was a lot of gadgets there, but uh, not really towards Xbox stuff. It was more PC gaming. Oh, so some cool accessories and yeah, like ex like headsets and controllers. The the new Steam controller was there. Um, I know Steam would bring out a controller and um, the NVIDIA console tablet was there as well but hardly anything to do with Xbox and PlayStation were there. So what was the coolest thing you saw there? Probably the Oculus Rift. Oh nice, yeah, virtual reality. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got to go on that. Very, very trippy. It hurts your head after about five minutes. <laughs> but very fun. So in Zombies, after Verrooked we started getting traps and we've had them ever since Verrooked really within Call of Duty Zombies and in Black Ops 3 do you think they'll bring traps back and in what way? Definitely, um, we've already heard, well I've already been searching up stuff like that and I'm hoping they bring bring back the acid trap from Mob of the Dead I'm really hoping, I love that map, Mob of the Dead is one of my favourite maps and um, people know how good the acid trap is you know because if you're running that area of the map on Mob of the Dead that acid trap and the tomahawk helps you out for the high rounds, mainly the acid trap. Traps help you on high rounds on every map. I mean, you've got the electric trap on Kino 5, you've got the electric trap at the top area near Spawn. Traps are so reliable, they help you get the highest round possible. Because you don't so, need to worry about ammo and by the time you're at such yeah, exactly. a large round, you don't need yeah. to worry about points either, really. So. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. And in terms of Wonder Weapons, what do you really want to see in the direction of that? We've had a lot over the years, all with different effects, but where do you think they could actually go with that now? Well, they could actually take it anywhere because, you know, no one was expecting staffs in Origins. So you don't know what, what Triarch are going to pull out of the pocket. You know, we've had the Blunder Gap, we've had the Wonder Wolf. So it goes from electricity to acid to shotguns to alien ray guns to, you know, freeze guns. You've got the Winter's Howl. Um, you know, people... They could even, I know they probably won't, but they could look at custom zombies and get some pretty good weapons from there. Yeah, because we've seen so much on the terms of the custom zombies because everybody, well, there's just loads of different creators in there really, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. I mean, if if, a, if I could pick a one weapon to return, it'd probably be the baby gun from Shangri-La. Yeah, and on the theme of Shangri-La, we've seen a lot of kind of different types of zombies in there. We had the uh, screaming zombie and the napalm zombie. What do you kind of think... Uh, we're going to see in terms of zombie types and what sort of zombie types do you want. Do you want different zombie types or just all to be the same? No, I do want quite a few different zombie types. Um, maybe, I mean, I play a lot of Zombie Army Trilogy on the Xbox One, so and they the zombies on there have armored armored suits on, but not as much of the Panzer Soldat. It would just be like a like an iron helmet or an iron chest plate. So maybe different types of armor, maybe like different, so they look different mm. because at the moment. They look basic. I know there's a theme for each map, so on Buried, they all look like cowboys in the Wild West. Mob of the Dead, they all look like prisoners and prison guards. But they could have, like, better stuff on them, like armoured. So some of them are actually stronger, like on Die Rise. Yeah. That's what where you've got the armoured yeah. zombies. Yeah. But, um, I don't want the Napalm to return, because he was a troll. I don't mind the Shrieker. But... Yeah. But with the Napalm, he would actually kind of block up block off a certain area of the map when you're a certain pathway you would you couldn't really run through it as well and the zombies would get killed when they came through and we've actually ha heard from people who have played the game about this new kind of thermite grenade being introduced in multiplayer which is kind of like a molotov cocktail would you like to see that in zombies again i mean yeah that would be interesting because i i do like the molotov on uh, world at war but not as much as the monkey bomb everyone loves the monkey bomb yeah easily swap it out for that yeah, I mean, Exo Zombies has tried to copy it, but they're nowhere near as good. Mm, yeah. So. Um, so, when we actually play a map, to then progress further than just where we were in Nocturne Toad and just holding out in a bunker, we actually got Perks and Pack-a-Punch, and these have had some interesting ways of actually 
reaching these perks, powering these perks, and powering pack a punch with like the origins generators and the five defcon switches. What do you want to see in terms of that and progression through the map? Well, I, everyone like has a go at me for this, but I actually quite like the afterlife system on Mob of the Dead. Yeah. I quite I quite like it. I mean, it gives those not as not as talented players a second chance, because if you're playing on solo, you get three afterlifes and then you get a new one each round. So so the people that aren't as good at zombies, they get a second chance to explore the map a bit more. They get another chance and another chance to yeah. explore the map a bit more. So that's what I like. But I like Origins as well because there's a lot to do and you don't get bored easy. Yeah, and of course the generators keep getting attacked by. Police. Yeah, the. Uh, yeah. Templar zombies. Yeah, they're the ones, yeah. Yeah. So on but, Mob of the Dead as well, with the afterlife system, you kind of, if you go down and you're kind of in a multiplayer match, a co-op match, if you go down and then you're not entirely useless because if you're down and you've come back from death or whatever, you're not just spawning in with a pistol and then are immediately out of the game again, dying out for the round. You actually get another chance and you can actually be of use to the other players. You can actually power things for them even if you do go down, which is a very nice system, don't you agree? Yeah, I, lo I love that system. I mean, you know, I, I don't really play more with the Dead on four-player, but I play it like two-player, and when my buddy goes down, he, it always, it's always helpful, because he can, because we can, because uh, that revive glitch still works, so he can run around the map and turn, around, turn on everything while I'm reviving yeah. him, so, which is really helpful. It set, it's a good setup for the map for a high round, so... So do you want Afterlife specifically to return or kind of new systems to do, to be developed every single time, every single map? I don't know. It could be Afterlife, but in Custom Zombies, again, uh, there was a perk called Second Chance and it does the same as Afterlife, but you yeah. just buy it instead of it being on the map. Yeah. So, you know, I wouldn't. I mean, if they bring something in like that, so it gives you a second chance, it just gives you everything back. Or if they improve um, who's who from Dire Eyes. Yeah, because so, Black Ops that perk was rubbish. weren't amazing, were they? No. They could have they could have thought of them a lot better. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining me today. Anyway, it's been a pleasure to have you. That's cool, mate. That's cool. Anytime. <laughs> okay. And before you go, if you could say one thing to Treyarch for the development of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, what would you say? PhD flopper. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love that, yes. Yeah, or the PPSH. Oh, you're getting better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Two things Two things I want. I've made a video on this as well, talking about it. But two things which annoy me, which, which they trolled, because they trolled so much about PhD. Yeah. So. Well, thank you once again. It's been a pleasure having you, and I'll see you all next time.